Thanks very much. Hi, Eddie. Um, hope you're well. Um, can we just start, obviously, you know, another injury blow for, for Manu, um, which he must be, you know, really gutted about. How Can you just give us your reaction to that? And um, how long do you think he'll be out? Is it serious? And, uh, you know, where does that leave him in the long term? Well, it's a, it's a slight hamstring injury. Uh, he'll be out for a couple of weeks. We won't play him this, this series. Uh, and we've been really pleased with his progress, mate. I think it's very positive for him to come back from his Achilles and play with such uh, vim and vigour. Uh, he's been outstanding. So this is just a small little setback, allow him to have a really good pre-season and we expect him back next year in, in, in very good condition. So very positive, mate. Very positive. Uh, great news and it's not anything serious. Um, it, his absence gives you an opportunity to, to, to look at others. There's not obviously phrases come in. Um, but the, you've got obviously got, you know, a very different uh, mix of, of squad for obvious reasons. Is it exciting when you get the opportunity to cast the net, if you like, because the lines is on at the same time? Yeah, no, it's fantastic, mate. It's, uh, yeah, it's starting off with the A game and then two test matches against USA and Canada it gives us a chance to really look at the players who are who are at the next level, but they've got the opportunity to go to become the, the permanent uh, starter in their position. So we're assessing the talent very carefully, uh, putting them through the, root, uh, the hoops and, and we'll see what comes out of it. Um, exciting then, is that, what you, is that what you say to them then, basically, any of these players, you know, come in and do what you can and there's an opportunity for you to, you to stay there in the long term? Yeah, well, it's opportunity, mate. You know, when opportunity knocks, you've got to take it. When the bus comes past your door, you've got to make sure you get on because it mightn't come back again. And we've seen, um, obviously, Joe Fockner Singer's there. He, he's got quite a lot of experience, but maybe not a massive number of caps. What can you just talk about the opportunity you see for him here? Because um, you know we all know his his potential and his power and things. Is this a real good chance for him to sort of almost get going again? Yeah, well, he's in great physical. Nick, he's unfortunately had a bad run with injuries. He's had a you know a couple of uh, tendonitis type injuries in his knee. Uh, but just looking at him over the last uh, seven or eight days, he's in the best condition I've seen him in for a long time. So we're expecting the best out of him and there's there's more to come from the young fella. Uh, just last one for me. Is he somebody who, because of obviously his his, his abilities, um, is he somebody who could, you know, we, you know, we see him on the wing, but do, could he end up in the centre perhaps? Or, you know, obviously he's a strike runner. Is that something that you might look at in the long run? Not really. No, fair enough. <laughs> don't, don't, don't try to be a selector, mate. I, I'd, oh, no. <laughs> I, I probably can't write as columns as well as you, so you stick you stick to writing, I'll stick to selecting. Um, fair play. Um, his uh, his abilities, though, are clear to see, aren't they? And, uh, yeah, no, he, no, he's a, he's a great finisher, mate. At his best, he's a great finisher. You know, we saw that a little bit at the World Cup. We saw it against Australia, I think it was in the autumn of 2018. So we know the talent's there, but, you know, talent's one thing. It's hard work. You need a bit of luck um, to make that talent into consistent performances, and that's what we're hoping to get out of Joe over the over summer. And then who knows where he can go, mate. Thanks, Eddie. Cheers. But not to Senna. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Uh, Liam, uh, we'll come to you. Thanks. Hi, Eddie. You've got so many new guys there in your in your camp the, the past two weeks or, or so. Has has anybody said or done anything that's really piqued your interest in the, in, 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 the, in the in this time? There's so many new faces, mate. Uh, when they've had their masks on, I've been I've been scratching to, to work out who's who. Um, we're trying to work out whether we've got Ben Curry or Tom Curry here. Um, yeah, you know, I used to play with the Ella brothers, and they they have little tricks. I remember when Mark was captain of the Wallabies, he sent Glenn up to a press conference and no one knew who it was. So I don't know whether we've got Ben or Tom Curry, so we're trying to work that one out. But uh, no, there's a lot of guys here who have got an opportunity in front of them. The enthusiasm from the squad is, is first class. They've got, you know, there's a run of three games here, which starts with Scotland A on the weekend, where they can really put themselves forward as, as genuine test uh, players for the World Cup in 2023. You know, we're at a period now where we're two years away from the World Cup. Um, so the squad starts to take a bit of moulding and we need fresh blood and we need fresh energy. And, and these guys have got the got the got one foot in the door. They've got to make sure they keep the door open. 
you've a smile on your face already. How refreshing has the past two weeks been for you, given a couple of weeks ago you said you needed to practice coaching? So, I mean, it's, it's been it's been kind of a fresh landscape for you having, having these guys in for an A game, yeah? Uh, yeah, well, it always is when you work with fresh talent. Um, you know, it's, you want to see where you can take them. Um, you know, the less, the less they've played at this level, the more... Um, the more they tend to listen um, because like experienced players tend to know what they need to do and, and your coaching is less when you've got experienced players. For these guys, you know, we've got to guide and direct a bit more. So the hands-on coaching has been, been uh, more evident than it would with a more experienced squad. So we've enjoyed that. Uh, we like the look of where they're going. Uh, they train with enormous energy. Uh, we just need to execute a little bit better, which we'll get in the next few days. And, and we're looking forward to a strong performance on, on Sunday. Okay, and just finally for me, it's, it's a rare thing in a game is happening. Do, do you think that there should be a place found in the calendar for more fixtures like this in the future? Look, I think what we've got to find, mate, is a few more weeks in the year. So I think the you know these startup companies can invent anything these days, can't they? So why can't they invent a year with uh, how many weeks have we got now? 52. With the 58 weeks, we have 58 weeks, we could have six A games. Wouldn't that be great? So um, if you've got someone who's got some money who can uh, do a bit of creative work on the calendar, we can create a few more weeks. Okay, sure, buddy. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, and just mindful of time, Nick, we'll finish up with a quick one from you. Thank you. Yeah, I've just got two quick ones, if I may. Um, hi, Eddie. Quick, yeah, um, yeah. Just wondered if those that are back from Bristol and Sale are in equal contention with some of the new faces you've got in for this uh, game this weekend or whether they've, they're in with more of a view to, to the USA and Canada games. No, they're in with a, a massive chance, mate. Uh, they're in form. You know, they've been playing with good teams in form. So in form players are the players we want to be playing in this in this series. Uh, so they've come in, you know, guys like Randall, Mailings, um, Rod, uh, Ben or Tom Curry, whichever one it is, um, have all come in and, and they've they've put their they've put their foot forward. So they're in great contention to play this weekend. Okay, and uh, and just what was the thinking behind asking John Mitchell to be the, the head coach for Sunday? Well, we need a coach for England, eh? <laughs> that's that's the obvious one. Someone's got to do the job. Uh, I'm the England coach, um, and we and he's the most experienced assistant coach, and he'll do a great job. and And I'm there to assist him. I might run the water on Sunday. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thanks. Um, Um, so, you know, we're, 